check it out. That's like P and B Rock, right? He get knocked down over at that Roscoe on a part of town, and nigga, I, I nigga, I'm from San Diego, nigga. I'm 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 Mister B in L.A. all the motherfucking time for the last two decades, nigga. I don't even know where the fuck that. I didn't even know there was no Roscoes over there, my nigga. Like like that's just totally out of bounds, and it's fucked up because it's seeming like you know California niggas, L.A. niggas. San Diego, whoever, we all shit. Niggas is tripping on niggas from other states and shit. And so that might create, you know, how niggas move around and be able to move around other places. That's not no Cali tripping on niggas from out of town shit. It don't matter where a nigga from. That nigga could have been from down the street. If you pulling up in these parts, homie, in these locations in Southern California, this shit is real territorial around this motherfucker. Niggas know who is who. It don't matter if they know who you are. They, they know who you ain't. You ain't one of the homies. So if a nigga pulling up in these type of areas, there's pretty much no fly zones for any nigga that don't live around this area in 200,000 plus cars, you, a couple hundred thousand dollars worth of jewels on and all that shit. You got to know it don't matter where a nigga from. That shit could happen to anybody. That shit could happen to another Cali nigga. That shit could happen to a nigga that's from three blocks away from that. That shit could happen to a nigga that's from around there if he riding around like that. So all the Cali tripping on niggas from out of town shit. That, that ain't what it is. Cali niggas tripping on each other shit.